Hello everyone, Chess Hoodie here. So, as you can see from the title, it was not good, <laughs> not good for me. My opponent played a perfect game, zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes, zero blunders. And unless the position is very simple, it's very hard when opponent plays perfectly in a position where there are options. Uh, also, when I first saw his username, he didn't even know what it is. But one day later, I realized that he is actually Jackie Lee. So he is like half Jackie Chan and half Bruce Lee. So, <laughs> very strong guy, I guess. So let's see how he beat me. He was black, and we opened with the London. Uh, yeah, I might consider dropping the London, and not because of this game, but I'm not really enjoying the, the positions that arise. But, okay, it was a part of a plan to play London in this series. So for now, I'll stick to it. Uh, C5, C3, I don't really know which are the best moves here and I played this after the game I checked this is not considered to be uh, like a main move or something but you can play I guess and uh, actually I compromised my pawn structure with this sequence of moves and here I wasn't afraid of him taking because after this check uh, yeah he is attacking my rook but his king is in trouble so that was not good, and then he castled, very good move, uh, the best move actually. Again, the pawn is hanging, but not really. Uh, I'm not going to go into lines this time. So let's see what happened. Uh, now you can see I have doubled pawns and I have one isolated pawn. But I have good con control of the dark squares and his uh, pawns are limiting his bishop. So that's why he played c5, the best move. Uh, yeah, uh, he is getting rid of his weakness on c6, but in turn, he will also help me get rid of my isolated pawn. And after this exchange, I decided to uh, defend the b2 pawn this time. And he solved the problem of his uh, light square bishop, sort of. And uh, let's see, here he found a really brilliant move, because you know, some people would play h6 or, I don't know, maybe some other move, but bishop b5 is actually a perfect move. Uh, that bishop wants to defend this pawn eventually, so that he can do this. Very deep idea. So, yeah, very strong play. Uh, queen takes, queen takes, and knight d4. And this was my plan. With my knight on d4 and my pawn on f4, I am restricting his central pawns and when I play a4 his a8 rook will also be <coughs> biting uh, on granite so but here he played the best move again bishop e8 so so for example if he goes to d7 where this bishop wants to go he is blocking his knight because his knight wants to go there so he first goes to e8 he goes knight d7, knight c5, and then he comes back. Perfect sequence of moves. I understand it, but it's uh, wonderful that he found it during the game. And note that he cannot win a pawn like this because of the back rank. So he didn't do it, of course. So he went bishop e8. I uh, blocked his uh, rook. Now first he improves his king, and then he goes with his knight to c5, and then he will go with his bishop uh, to d7 and organize uh, f6, e5. I played rook c3, uh, setting a little trap. If he tries to win, my, win the exchange like this, I can capture with the knight and defend my rook. So that was a trap the, in which he, of course, didn't fall in. And here I made a mistake. Uh, so I noticed that I cannot uh, double on the C file, which was my initial plan, because of this check, and I uh, lose the exchange in the game. So my king is uh, not good on F2. Uh, actually, the best square is probably F1. But I, I went to E3, thinking that now I can play Rook C1, but after F6, I realized I cannot. If I double now, 
he just pushes e5 when I move my knight, he pushes d4, I lose, uh, I lose a piece at minimum. So I had to go back with my king, and this is where I, uh, the position was balanced, even though he played perfectly, I didn't play that badly. So it was balanced, but after this king e3, king f2, now he's better. So rook e8, supporting the e5 push, and I thought I will stop it, but then he pushed and then I was like, oh, I missed the tactic. When I take, take, I cannot take on e5 because of knight d3 check. And now I had to resort to tactics, and I'm losing material, but I decided to lose just one pawn. I thought that was the best. Uh, here, capturing on e8 was better, but it doesn't matter. The position was bad anyway. And I am losing. I lost a pawn, and we are in the endgame. And, of course, this is terrible. But I was hoping maybe my knight and king will hold these two pawns, and somehow I will do something. But he played with surgical precision. All the best moves. Here he found I had I had to stop his king and he found a beautiful maneuver. Bishop d7 going to f5, controlling c2 so that he can march his pawn once I go into the attack. And uh, the bishop will support the c2 square. Very important. So he found a beautiful maneuver, and that's what happened. Uh, yeah. He immediately advanced that pawn. That pawn is not going to queen immediately, but that pawn restricts my knight, and I can never capture it. So it means I'm technically uh, a knight down. So this is completely lost. And here, I even put the king here, allowing a pawn endgame, which is just... yeah. So, what to say? I am not that good to not to beat, but just to survive against a player who plays a perfect game in a position when there are options and there are winning chances for both sides. Because if it's a very dry position with, let's say, opposite colored bishops, with objectively, you can play on each move six or seven different moves and they all keep the balance. But if the position is of that sort that you have two good moves and one suspicious move and it's like that every few moves I can't do that for 45 moves and this guy obviously can uh, yeah he can do that he proved it against me and I watched another of his games against the 2500 he did the same the game was longer than 40 moves and he played the perfect game again so very strong player but uh, in some of his other games, he didn't do it. But for some reason, in his top three victories, two of them are flawless. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, the journey continues. See you next time. Bye.